welcome to my first vlog so i was supposed to fly into la today at like 9 30 a.m but my flight just got delayed by an hour so so here i am at the airport and my uncle decides to tell me that he actually did not get tickets for anime expo and the whole thing is sold out I'd already bought my plane ticket, so I was like, I might as well get on the plane and hope that something happens. Here's my outfit for the airport, and sorry I didn't take much footage of the plane, because I am now already in LA. Super fun. So I just got to my grandma's house, and I am now laying on the couch. Good news. So my sister went to the comment section of Anime Expo and scoured looking for someone who had an extra ticket or had tickets that they were selling and she found them and she got them for us so it's back on so me and my grandma got up early to go down to anime expo so that we could pick up our badges and go through this covid screening this one right here the line was super long the day of the con but they give you this bracelet here and it just lets the employees know that you've been through screening. Here is the line to get the badges. It's super fucking long. It took an hour and a half just to get up to that white tent right there. So here I am at the front and this is when all hell breaks loose. Once I get up there, she's like, actually your tickets are fake. I started crying. I offered to buy tickets on the spot, but because it's sold out, she couldn't do that. I just ended up giving her my information. She said she would try to help me the best she can. Okay, it's the end of the day, and the tickets were indeed fake that my sister got. Um, my uncle has pulled out cash, and I sent him down to Anime Expo and told him to start bribing the employees, and we will see if he produces a ticket. After this, I got a call from the employee that was helping us earlier and said that she could give us her employee tickets. I rushed back down there to say hello to Meg the Stallion and pick up my badges. I got him. I got him. <laughs> That's right. She hooked me up with a four day ticket this time, bitch. I'm just so thankful for her and I'm glad everything worked out. Anyways, the next morning we go down to pick up my uncle for day one. And you remember how I told him to start bribing some employees? Well, he found an employee off Craigslist and he got himself entertainment hall passes. Look at this. Here's the fit for the day. I really like this pink corset. I'll go ahead and put the Instagram at of the seller somewhere on screen. Because we got entertainment hall passes, we got to skip the lines. So when you come in, you're gonna see Luffy. There's gonna be a table with a bunch of free bags on them. I took quite a few of them. Then we went up the escalator to all the shops Day one was all about shopping for me so that that way I get all the good stuff I would hate for something to sell out and then I can't get it. I had my uncle buy me this Onichan. It's super cute. I got a few other plushies so I'll probably end up doing a haul at the end of this video. Obviously I had to stop by the Crunchyroll stand. So they were giving out free bags and they had a bunch of promotional things like little posters and stuff they were giving out a different free bag every day but the promotional like flyers stayed the same the whole con it was honestly so nice to go to this con and just be around other anime fans and walk the displays and a lot of the shops there felt more small businessy it felt like people actually cared about the product they were selling and that they actually took their time to create it. Bought some more stuff, and then I went to the entertainment hall. Soon as I saw the My Hero stuff, I knew I had to check it out, so they taught me how to play this like card game, and I actually got a promotional playing card for doing his demo. And then here's just a bunch of small sets for photo ops. I didn't take any pictures in them, but I totally should have. Afterwards, I went to the manga lounge, and it was like oddly cold in there. Anyways, I decided to pick up Spy Family. I picked up where the anime left off and I think I'm actually gonna read the manga. They also had coloring sheets, so I did that too. 
after that, I went home, but first I went to Chipotle, so all in all, day one was great. Day two, I went as Misa from Death Note, and I didn't really record any footage because I wanted to like be in the con and really appreciate it. I did go to the maid cafe, but they don't let you take any videos or pictures inside, so I'm just going to explain what happened. Ignore the footage. So first, two maids will come sit at your table, and you guys basically play games and interact. They also do performances, and they dance to Knock Knock by Twice, and it took a lot out of me not to get up there and dance with them because, sis, I do know the choreography. Anyways, day three, we slipped in early because of our exhibitor passes and finally got our hands on the One Piece bags. After that, me and my uncle went to Fixin's and kind of called it a day. We tried going to a panel, but like he fell asleep, so we just left. That's it for Anime Expo, but let's get into this haul. So you guys have already met Onichan, so I'm not too worried about that. But Belzy was also there, and they have such high-quality stuffed animals. I got Giraffe, Wolfy, and Elephanty. I already took her out of the packaging to show my sister, but here they all are. And because they spent so much money, they actually gave us a sticker pack and some pins. Then I got this really nice candle. Here's what the inside looks like. I really like the scent. I also got this Kirby keychain. It's mad cute because he's holding a strawberry. And I also got this My Neighbor Totoro sketch pad. Here's all that it came with. It came with a keychain and stickers and a pen. This long sleeve is from Milk and Mocha. And here's what it looks like on. I also got my sister a keychain. Here are some stickers that I got from Milk and Mocha. I also got this banana fish sticker. However, I did not catch the vendor. I also got a Black Clover t-shirt because I don't have any merch from that anime. And finally, here are the posters I got down in Artist Alley. I'm so excited for next year and I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. Thank you.